When I was 12 years old, I had my first cancer. Um, and once that was all taken care of, we thought that was the end of my journey with cancer. And when I turned 30, this was about a year and a half after my second child was born, I found a lump in one of my breasts. I ended up finding out that it was breast cancer. And so I was sent up to Stanford, thankfully, by my oncologist. He's like, go to the best. She herself was diagnosed with several cancers, actually, uh, some at quite a young age, so, so an unusual uh, situation. That made her physician and us think that maybe there was something unusual going on in her family. So we saw her initially uh, a number of years ago now for genetic testing to try to identify if she had inherited a mutation. And in fact, uh, we found one, the P53 gene, that confers this extraordinarily rare syndrome called lee fermeni syndrome and has very high risks of cancer. And that led to implications for her family. Once we had a final diagnosis that that's what it was, my first thought was, oh my gosh, my two daughters, what am I gonna do? When a patient finds out that not only do they have cancer, but they might be at risk for another cancer down the road or that their children could be affected by this. Some of those patients can be quite stressed. So that's one of the things I try to address right away. Calmly, with compassion, explaining that there's something that we can do about it if we find something. Our main goal is to try to improve the outcomes for the patient and the entire family. And if we identify who is at high risk, we can tailor a management strategy to them to decrease the chance that they will get cancer in the first place. The hard part of my journey was finding out then who needed to be tested and roll them out. So we started with both of my parents and that was difficult to have to ask them, you know, hey, would you be willing to be tested? Many times patients are motivated by their family. They say, I'm here not so much for me, but for my kids, for my brothers, for my sister. I, I want to do all that I can to try to make things better. We tested both of my daughters, and I still remember the day that, um, that Alex called me to let me know that they were both negative. So I'm, I'm really grateful for all my family members that were tested and, and were all negative. To see it end in me and our family is truly a blessing. We're learning more and more in the past few years about how genetic changes, whether inherited or acquired, can help us tailor treatments to certain individual cancers. So it's very exciting being here because one can often get very early access to these new approaches that are translating quite quickly to patient care. It's a daily adventure with new lumps and bumps and for me, my first thought is always, is this gonna be cancer again? But they are constantly reassuring me that they're on top of it. So any new information, they're always calling me, emailing me and letting me know, hey, let's look at this, let's possibly check this out and see if we can't get you better care or whatever. I literally wouldn't be here if it wasn't for smart doctors around the world and I'm just grateful that Stanford has a lot of those doctors. <laughs>